Hi everyone, this is Zan. I hope you're all doing well. Today I have beauty product reviews for you and these include skincare items and hair care items. I will go ahead and list and link all the items that I show and talk about in this video down beneath this video in the description box in case there's an item that you want to go on and read more about. And real quick, before I start the beauty product reviews, I wanted to mention two new skincare items by Science Serum that I am just starting to try out. And ask you guys, if you've tried either of these, please comment below and share your thoughts on them. One of them is their Pro Series Tight Lifting and Firming System. This is a once weekly system where you just apply their clear gel with a silicone spatula that comes with the treatment system and there are four containers so once a week you apply a container to your face on clean skin you just let it dry for about 20 minutes and then rinse it off and it's supposed to give dramatic lifting and firming results so i'm excited to try that one out and then i also went ahead and got their moisturize serum and you can use any of their serums with their pro series treatment system so I got the moisturize because I do have dry skin. I also live in a dry climate and dry skin around the eyes creates a lot of wrinkles when I smile. So I got this to help replenish the lipids within my skin around my eyes to help plump and moisturize my skin. So if you've tried either of these, please comment below because I'm curious to hear your thoughts and I'm excited to try these products and I'll let you know later on what I think of them. So starting out my mini reviews, I have some skincare items and one of them is by Palmer's. This is their Coconut Sugar Facial Scrub and I really like this facial scrub. I have already repurchased it and would definitely recommend this. It has very fine sand-like particles that does a great job at polishing the skin and removing dead skin cells. And then I have two skincare products by SkinCeuticals. One of them is the HEE Interrupter. And this is a corrective face cream that counteracts the signs of aging caused by advanced glycation end products, which is a major cause of aging skin. And I'll try to find a few articles about that and link them below in the description box in case you wanna read more about what the glycation process is and how it ages skin. But this product helps to lift firm and reduce wrinkles and also reduce crepey skin caused by glycation. And it is a nice, rich cream. I have reordered this and am on my second jar of it. I really like it. You can use it twice a day. It does wear well under makeup. I typically just use mine at nighttime because it is a pricier product, but I do really like this and would recommend it. My other SkinCeuticals Empty is their Resveratrol BE Concentrated Serum. And this is a nighttime antioxidant concentrated serum with 1% resveratrol in its pure, stable form. I do really like this. I did repurchase it and I'm on my second bottle of it. And antioxidants are great at reversing damage done to the skin from free radicals. It also helps to brighten the skin and helps to firm the skin. So I would recommend this and have repurchased it. My next empty is Truth Treatment's 1% Retinol Light. This addresses skin discoloration and lines and wrinkles. It is a vitamin C and vitamin A product and it, the form of vitamin C is THD ascorbate, which is a stable form of vitamin C. It's great at reducing discoloration of the skin. This is for all skin types, and all you do is use it once or twice a week on damp skin at nighttime. And it only has active ingredients. There are no fillers, no fragrances, no waxes in it. I did repurchase this product. It is a very moisturizing product. It's almost like a gel type of formula and it does absorb, it moisturizes, it doesn't dry out my skin and I don't get 
you know, terrible flaking or irritation with this product at all. And I do have sensitive skin. So I did repurchase this. I've actually repurchased this a couple times. So I think I'm on my third jar of it. And I do really love this retinol. I also finished two of my very favorite lip balms. These are plumping lip balms. They are the six times balm by skin. And these are very moisturizing. They also have peptides in them to help build collagen within your lips for plumper, fuller lips. And I just always have these on hand. I carry them in my purse and apply them throughout the day. I also apply them at night right before I go to bed. And it's probably my very favorite plumping lip product. So I would recommend these and I do always repurchase these. And moving on to some hair care empties. These are great if you have dry hair. And if you have color treated hair, these all work perfectly in color treated hair as well. My first one is my very favorite hairspray, which is the VO5 Brush Out Hairspray. I used to use this many years ago, loved this hairspray and swore by it. And then I started watching other YouTubers and started trying other hairsprays that were stiffer hairsprays and that ended up causing some breakage in my hair. So I went back to my Old Faithful VO5 brush out and it just makes my hair healthier. It doesn't cause breakage. It's not stiff. You can touch it and move it, brush it out. It does give 14 hours of hold. It is a clear spray that dries quickly. And I would definitely recommend this if you suffer from any type of dry hair or breakage from stiffer hairsprays. This is a great product. Another must have product for dry hair is a rinse out conditioner by Chloron. This is their mango butter conditioner and I love these. I have been using these for a very long time and if you have dry hair, this is a must have product. It does such a great job at conditioning the hair adding moisture and just hydrating your hair without weighing it down or making it greasy. So this is a product that I do always repurchase and would definitely recommend. Another product from Chloron is their Ultra Gentle Dry Shampoo. And this one has oat milk in it. I get mine for all hair types. They also make one specifically for dark hair. And I love this dry shampoo. I did switch over from Not Your Mother's Dry Shampoo, which is a drugstore brand. And I used that one for many years. I use dry shampoo in the crown of my hair for added volume to my hair. And what I found is the Not Your Mother's and a lot of other drugstore brands that I've tried tend to dry out my hair a little bit too much, which then leads to breakage um, in my hair. So this one is just very gentle. It, it leaves my hair feeling very healthy and it does add that volume that I want. So if you have very dry hair, I would highly recommend this. I think it's a great dry shampoo. Another must have product for dry damaged hair is my very favorite hair oil. It's by Lenore Grail and I've talked about this one many times. It's a pre-shampoo hair oil. It's a blend of different oils and it helps to prolong your hair color. It also moisturizes and conditions the hair. You apply it to dry hair and leave it on for a minimum of 15 minutes. A lot of times I'll just leave it on overnight and then shampoo it out. And it does just take one shampoo to remove this oil. So it's not a greasy type of oil like some oils are in the hair. This does a great job at conditioning my hair and I would highly recommend this if you have dry hair or dry and color treated hair. This to me is a must have product and I do always repurchase this. I hope you found my mini reviews helpful. If you've tried any of these products, please comment below and share your thoughts on them. Or if you have any favorite skincare or hair care products that you want to share, please comment below. I would love to hear what you're loving. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it.